Hakeem Olajuwon had one of the greatest individual seasons of all time. The Dream is one of the most skilled big men in history, as his footwork and speed in the post was unmatched. He was so skilled in the post, he had his own move, the Dream Shake, and people still could not stop that damn move. It consists of faking one way, spinning the other. It sounds easy, but when you look at the highlights of him doing these moves, the only thing I can say is that it looks smooth and no one else could do it like him. Another way you can describe the Dream Shake, if anything tried to stop him, he always had a counter. An interesting fact about how he got the nickname The Dream, it was during college. And when the coach saw him dunk the ball so effortlessly, he said that it looked like a dream. Olajuwon, during the 93-94 regular season, in which earned him the MVP award, had averages of 27 points, 12 boards, 4 assists, and 4 blocks. He led the entire roster in points, rebounds, and blocks. Took home Defensive Player of the Year honors, being second in defensive win shares with 7.9, second in block percentage, only behind um, Dikembe Matombo, and fourth in defensive box plus minus. Another absurd defensive stat Hakeem had was the amount of games he had with four or more blocks. Out of the 82 games Hakeem Olajuwon played, 45 of them he had four or more. He had eight blocks in four of these games. The Rockets as a team ended the season with a 58 and 24 record as they were the second seed. They were a middle of the pack offensive team ranked 13 out of 27 teams scoring 101 points per game, while only allowing 98 points on the other end, ranking them 5th in the league. The regular season was really good for the Houston Rockets, but now we are at the playoffs, and Michael Jordan once said, it doesn't mean a thing without the ring. In the playoffs, when you look at the numbers Hakeem was putting up, it looked like he was playing his last games of his life in these playoffs. Olajuwon has a tough road to climb to the finals, but Hakeem, being as gifted and dominant as he was, decided to destroy everyone in front of him on this playoff run. It was absolutely crazy. We are now at the first round, and they are playing the Portland Trailblazers. Hakeem averages 34 points, 11 boards, 5 assists, 2 steals, and 4 blocks, as they were in cruise mode to a 3-1 victory. In the Western Conference semifinals versus the Phoenix Suns, the Dream averages 28 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 blocks, and a steal. In a grueling 7-game series, they advanced to the Western Conference Finals. And there, they face the Utah Jazz. Hakeem averages 28, 10, and 4 to go along with 4.5 blocks per game. They beat the Jazz with a gentleman's sweep of 4-1. The NBA Finals is now here and Hakeem is facing the New York Knicks and damn it has been a long time since the Knicks have been in the finals I mean the last time they made the finals was in 1999 <laughs> anyway the Rockets are facing the amazing Knicks team with Patrick Ewing John Starks and Charles Oakley with Olajuwon's averages of 27 9 4 and four blocks, the Rockets ended up beating the Knicks in an intense seven-game series. Hakeem takes home the finals MVP and his first championship. Olajuwon, to me, is one of the greatest centers of all time. All-time leader in blocks with 3,830. 11th in points all-time with 26,946. Two-time defensive player of the year and five times all defensive first team. Hakeem is the only player to lead his team in four out of the five major stat categories for nine seasons. The second closest is Kevin Garnett with six. The only player to lead a team to the title while leading in all five stat categories throughout the postseason is Hakeem as well. These are some of the many achievements Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon has managed to get throughout his career. The 93-94 season was one of Hakeem's greatest seasons, not only individually 
as he won the major awards in the league, but also won the championship, solidifying him as one of the greatest and most versatile big men to ever play the game. The way he played the game and influenced the younger big men in the league today is also a huge achievement in itself, as his hard work, dedication, and dominance is a result of that.